Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Joyroot Jojo. In today's video, we are going to learn how to enable MRM retention policies. I have already done a video on how to enable RQ mailbox for an individual user and for the entire tenant. Before moving to enabling MRM retention policy, let's quickly see how you can enable RQ mailbox for an individual user. To enable RQ mailbox, you have to log into Exchange Admin Center. Under Mailbox, select the particular mailbox where you want to enable RQ mailbox. So, for in this example, I'm just selecting Mr. Abir's mailbox. So, I just log in. Others, you have an option to uh, mailbox archive. So, let me just open this. It is already enabled for Abir's mailbox. Normally, by default, this will be disabled. So, you can come here and enable it. And if, if you want to change the name here, by default, it takes us in place archive, uh, archive of Abir. You can change it accordingly. Whatever name you want to display it uh, on the RQ mailbox, you can give it accordingly. This way, you can enable RQ mailbox individually to a mailbox. And through PowerShell command, you can enable it for the, the entire tenant. First thing uh, to apply for the MRM retention policy, you should enable RQ mailbox should be enabled. All right, let's move on. So when we come to retention policies, first thing you have to log into Purview portal, um, compliance portal, purview.microsoft.com. Either you can come here from the uh, 365 admin center, admin.microsoft.com, and here you have compliance, security and compliance portal, and you have to click on compliance that will take you to this purview.microsoft.com now we have the uh, new portal for this the look and feel of the purview portal has been changed from than the older one all right so when we land on purview portal purview.microsoft.com here under solutions select data data life select data life cycle management under life cycle management you have uh, exchange legacy and MRM retention policies. So to create retention policy, before creating retention policy, we should you should create a MRM retention tag. By default, you have uh, a lot of tags that is given from the portal itself. Either you can go with the default retention tag or you can create a customized one. So I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to name it as uh, move email older than one year. Uh, I'm going to give a description here. Great. Let me click on next. So here you have three options to apply the tags. First one is called default policy tag. The other one is retention policy tag, which is called RPT. And the third one is personal tag. So you have three types of tags here. You have three types of tag. One is default policy tag, the other one is retention policy tag, the third one is personal tag. So what is the difference between all the three? Let's see it here. So default policy tag, which is called DPT, it is applied to the entire mailbox. The default policy tag is applied to the entire mailbox. When you want to apply the retention policy to the entire mailbox, you can select uh, DPT. For example, in their mailbox, the mails older than one year should move to the RQ mailbox. And you want to replicate uh, all the fold days in the in, in the mailbox to the online archive. You can use this default policy tag. According to your convenience, you might have created a different folder in your mailbox. So you want to create a replica of that in the online RQ mailbox. You can go with default policy for it apply to the entire mailbox. When it comes to retention policy tag RPT, it apply to the specific default folder like inbox, delete item, send items. So in case if you have some customized folder and you want to create a replica of that in the online archive, then you should go with the default policy. And if you want to apply it only for some specific folders, then better go with retention policy tag. And the third one is applied for user selected email or folders. 
use case give users the flexibility to apply custom retention rules to specific items so personal tag uh, we are giving users the flexibility to apply custom retention rules to specific items summary you can see dpt for the entire mailbox who control it admin can control this delete all emails or delete uh, move archive mailbox older than five years to this particular folder in that such cases you can use dpt and rpt for uh, uh, default folder folders like inbox delete item etc who controls it admin controls this auto delete delete item email after 30 days or something you can apply this personal tag is for user selected folders and in the user control it move to archive after one year i'm going to apply for the entire mailbox let me click on next here what uh, when item reaches to the following age i keep it as 365 days when the entire mailbox reaches one year 365 days retention action what action it to it should take delete and allow recovery permanently delete it or move item to archive i select move item to archive so item will be moved to the user's archive mailbox if the user does not have archive mailbox no action is taken we have enabled the archive mailbox now for mr abir so when we apply our this particular retention policy what exactly happens when the when mails older than 365 days mail older than one year will be automatically moved to the rk folder and whatever folders it has in this main mailbox the same replica will be there in the rq mailbox also if we click on next submit yeah so now the tag has been created so this is the tag which we created it so after creating the retention tag we are going to create the mrm retention policy all right so let me create a new policy for here let me create a new policy i name this i give the name as the same name i provided here like uh, move email older than one year and we have to select the add the tag here so we have already created the tag which is move email older than one year action is archive all right let me click it on add let me click on next submit so the policy has been created but it is not apply, applied to any user now we have created the customized mrm retention policy which is move email older than one year but it is not applied to any user you can either apply individually to a user or you can apply it for the entire tenant so now let's see how you can apply uh, the customized policy to a mailbox individually so i am in the exchange admin center i am selecting the particular mailbox here we select abs mailbox let me select that and here under mailbox you have a retention policy if you have not applied any customized retention policy by default it takes default mrm policy all right if you have uh, created some uh, customized policies like um, move email older than one year which we created just now this one i had created earlier and applied to this user if i had not applied this default mrm policy could have taken effect all right so in our case we are going to uh, apply move email older than one year this is the one which we created just now and if you save it this this will be applied to the entire mailbox i'm facing an issue with my uh, tenant I, I do have an issue with the license my license has been expired so uh, i won't be able to apply it but still i can just show you uh, here if you just you can select the policy and uh, if you have the license you can save it then it will be working when you enable rq mailbox for a user when you log into the outlook of that particular user you will receive like in place you will see that in place rq mailbox of that particular user that username will be written here in this case it is abir and when we apply the mrm retention policy 
in our case we have created an mr retention policy male older than 1 year should move to in place rq so in these all these four days whatever male has exceeded 1 year age that will automatically move to in place rq and it will create it will create the four days here for example uh, i am we have a folder here called rq in this rq folder whatever if if any males are there older than 1 year then a replica of rq rq folder will create here which means in this R, in place rq one folder will create in the name of rq and the male that is older than uh, 1 year will move to that particular folder the same case of inbox, sent items, deleted items, draft, everywhere. In these four days, if any of the mails are exceeded one year age, then automatically a folder will be created here and that mail will be moved to this in place archive. So, this is how it works. Uh, I will be just showing how you can enable archive mailbox for the entire tenant. For that, you can use this command in the PowerShell. You just uh, open the PowerShell as uh, administrator connect exchange online this will ask you to enter your authentications provide your user id and password and if mfa is enabled give the mfa then use this command get mailbox uh, cell size unlimited set mailbox retention policy and here you have to mention your retention policy name i have already tested this how it works and we i have done it in the production and I've verified it is working properly so you can use this confident all right because i have already tested it and i have used it in the production environment why i am not able to show you because as i told you i have an issue with the license my license of my tenant has got expired so i have a limitation to show you uh, practically as of now but i have recently done this in the production so you can use this so that's it we will meet you in the other video till then goodbye